hello welcome back um, now in this video as we discussed proxy in the last time now we will discuss variables in depth and see how to use it and how you can access it in spices and recipes and uh, what are the possible ways where it can be really useful so uh, let's go to first variables and see how to add variables so here like I have added some variables that I use most frequently so you can click on a new variable and give this a name demo variable and I'm just going to type facebook.com add and it's added demo variable facebook.com now if I go to automation page and on any page I can easily access the variable that I added so here you see this three horizontal line icon when you click on that you will be seeing all your like variables that you have added so if I click on demo variable it will be added in in the field so if here um, if I add demo variable it will be added here so this is going to be really handy when you do like when you like handle the same Facebook group or like same Google sheet or like anything which you use most frequently you can use variables to store that so that you don't have to type that again and again um, so whole purpose of building this tool is like how we can save the time and if anything that you are doing manually we want to automate that and to save time variables are going to be really useful and the best part is that it it will be available across the whole platform so if I go to like recipes um, and then check any recipe that I had created let's go here and if I click here or any like click on any node here you, you will see always see insert variable button and if you click here you will always be able to access all the variables that you added see I have added demo variable I can see that right so uh, if I click on demo variable this will be like change and you can access it from on any node or any spice so it's really useful now another your feature another like part where it's going to be useful let's say you are and like you are an agency or you have a team who is using Texo so you can use variables to store cookies so let's say I have like Alice and Bob two people are working I can add like Alice FB cookie then some variables and then I can add Bob I like cookie some values right and and now when I access like when I go to LinkedIn automation let's click on LinkedIn job extractor um, session cookie I can select Bob LI cookie and it will be added so you don't have to like go and ask Bob that share me your cookie I want to use your account just get his cookie and store it in variables and you can use that right so this is like this is again very useful in, in, in case of like if you are a team of people who is using Texo for automation and uh, it's always a good strategy to like uh, use different cookies for extracting data right so um, that's where the variables are going to be useful and LinkedIn cookies don't really expire like very early like it won't expire in two or three days so you can use that and uh, when Alice will come like when he will log in or like when you are accessing Alice account or Bob's account just uh, if the, you see the cookies expired just go back and like they grab the new cookie and then you can store it and it will be available for again for next few days uh, we are trying to like build a feature where we can like automate the grabbing cookie as well so that thing will be gone you don't have to ask Alice or Bob about your cookie so yeah this was variables are again very useful very useful it will be available across the whole platform you can insert variables anywhere you can store numbers you can store any data you can store various uh, urls doesn't matter it will be all available across the whole platform now there are like two two uh, things which are like local variable and global variable so um, local variables are only accessible in 
the recipe that you are accessing so if I click here here I will see all the global variables and here you can create local variables local variable will be only accessible inside this recipe it won't be available anywhere else so if I click, click here if I key demo local variable and just type some name click add done it's added right so now if I click, click here and go to variables I can see like global and local variables right so I can easily access them in inside this recipe but if I, since I have created a local variable it won't be available across the platform so if I go to LinkedIn job extractor and click here you won't see that like demo local variable right you won't you can't see that so local variables are like only accessible inside recipe again if you are making like a big recipe and you don't want to type that again and again you can create a small local variable and save that and will, you can use that across on different nodes and like all the places inside this recipe so yeah i think we have covered almost everything in, about variables and how they are useful in case if you if you have any questions if you don't understand any part feel free to ask us uh, just send a message using this chat icon and we'll be able to help you yeah so this is it thank you for watching